in these problems, we're finding the reciprocals of numbers. And the reciprocal is just the fraction upside down. So we've got negative 15 fourths here. We don't have to do anything with the negative sign. That stays. And then we just flip the top for the bottom and the bottom for the top. So this is 4 over 15. And now I've got the reciprocal. That's all there is to it, really. But what do you do when you have a whole number, like negative 8? What is the reciprocal of that? Well, first, you should write this as a fraction. Any whole number can be written as itself over 1. So this is negative 8 over 1. When we find the reciprocal, we just flip the top and the bottom. So we're going to have negative 1 over 8. This next problem says, what is the multiplicative inverse of 9? That is another word for reciprocal, another phrase for reciprocal. Multiplicative inverse, what this means is that if you multiply a number and its reciprocal, it comes out to the number 1. And that's kind of a, a cool thing to know in math. So 9 is 9 over 1. Its multiplicative inverse is 1 over 9. So that's our answer for this problem. But watch this. If we multiply these two together, 9 times 1 is 9, 1 times 9 is 9. We get 9 over 9. That equals 1. So that's a property of numbers and their inverses. If you multiply them, they come out to 1. So you might see a problem like this, where it says 3 7 times what equals 1. And all you need to know there is put in the reciprocal, so 7 thirds. So that's a little bit of work with reciprocals, also called multiplicative inverses.